right. We're here for the WWZ Race 5, I believe, at Red Bull Ring. Um, and I, we have a 34-car field. I qualified P8, which... I, uh, I I blew I blew it in one of my exits and uh, just didn't get the speed that I needed to get better than that, which means that Jake Geiger, um, God love him, qualified ahead of me, which he gets that extra point for pole for sport. Um, so we'll have to we'll have to make that up some other way tonight. Um, hopefully, just keeping my nose clean and uh, driving a, a decent race, but we'll see. So uh, rough track, um, little mistakes mean a lot, and uh, there's a lot of opportunity. So, uh, yeah, we do. 40 minutes, P8. So the next race will be at Indy Road Course. It'll be a longer race. Uh, it will be the finale. Follow car number 968 in Maybe. the left column. It'll be the finale to this. His first speed is 60 miles now. Okay, Chip, get ready. Let's go. I'm sorry, Stephen. My Damn it. Sorry, Jay. Fucking A. Well, there goes my 0x possibility for an extra point. So now I'm pissed. Enrico capitalized on that all slowdown, took a gamble and hit through the field, past both Jake and I. So I'm in third in class right now, in case you're trying to keep score. God damn it!
down, Chip. Don't let him get away. So this is Rodney. Use all the track, force him to find the gap. Nope, one. One X I don't give a shit about, but do not want that slow down there. Tenth position. This is a bit shit. Come on, make it less shit. Nice, Jim. It's like you're reading my mind. Sorry, I'm fine. Sorry, Steve, but I got a zero life on that. Nothing. All right, Chip. You need to pass this twat, you're losing too much time. It's not a very nice thing to say about Rodney. Rodney's a homie. It's not finding speed tonight. Sorry, 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 bro. Hey, Logan, you're breaking the blinking bed. I'm sorry? You're blinking. Oh, good. They're getting X better exits out of that last turn than I am. Yeah, your ping was like 400 earlier. Jake, you just disappeared there for a couple seconds.
How do I look now, Rick? Uh, still blanking. B9. Okay, Chip, there's a car exit in the pits, heads up.
Sorry about that. Didn't mean to go so wide there. Oh, my caddy ain't pretty sharp. Pit window open. Damn, almost got around you. Whoever I killed, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. to be in front of this car. Patience, Jim, patience. Right, Chip. Keep Alan on the pressure. He'll make a mistake.
approach your speed. Pit lane speed limit is 50 miles per hour. Box in 860 feet. Okay, Chip, we're at the halfway point. We think about nine minutes of fuel remaining. 300 feet. 100 feet. Thanks, Andrew. Yep, all good. Thank you. There's a car approaching. Watch your mirrors. Stay behind the white line. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, buddy. Come on, Randy. Work with me, buddy. Mark, starting to blink really bad. P18. Well done, Chip. Great move. Keep it up. Nice move, Chip. Thanks. I needed to get back on Brett's tail. Thanks, Mark. Seventeenth place. better than this. Come on, man. Good. 
14th. Thanks, Andy. Yep, all good. Yellow flag, watch out. Randy's getting in front of me. Uh, lost me time to these guys. That's, that could have been a good undercut. Not your fault, Randy. Not blaming you. This was racing. down on your out lap after a pit stop kind of ruins the whole purpose of an undercut so that was just bad luck b12 Leading the pit line. That was horrible. Better than getting the slowdown penalty, though. B10. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Hunter. Yep, all good. Thank you. Okay, Chip. Ignore that fucker in the mirror. Stick to your line. Nail those exits. Yep. Thanks, Andrew.
28. Thanks for making that easy, Mark. Happy to help, Jeff. Thanks, Mark. Stay close, keep the pressure on. Can you pass here, Stacy? Sorry, was that look good? Thank you. Yellow flag, caution.
Okay, Chip. This bastard's holding you up. You've got to find Thank a way you. past. Shut up, Chip. The gap in front is increasing. It's now 1.0 seconds. Thanks, Mark. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. That's close. Go ahead, Lyle. Thanks, Randy. Can you do that? That's the pass I needed. B7. Thanks, Jake. No problem, huh? Oh. Almost cut that a little too tight. White flag, last lap. Thank you, Rodney. Motor juice. Oh man, Logan, what a what a battle. Good racing. Indeed. Not over yet though. Yeah, sorry sorry you spun at the end. Rico, you disappeared. But 
sector two is zero point three two off the pace. Don't hit me, David. I got a zero X. Just going. two minutes left. Two minutes to go. Thanks for making me work, Rick. Seventh position. That's the end of the race. Oh man, that is a great racetrack. A lot of fun. Um, I think everybody had a really good time. Drove uh, fantastic. A few people had a few minutes in there but overall it was an amazing race. Derwin wound up uh, squeaking uh, away uh, from Shea through a pit strategy I believe if I understood correctly. Um, he got pole position. They were really close throughout most of the race and uh, he got the bonus point for getting the pole position and uh, so rounded up with 36 points. Shea got the fastest lap, got a bonus point for that so ended 33. Lioletti came away with Third place finish, and of course, Rick Reinsberg and Robert Cottle rounded out the top five. If we go on to club, um, Adnan came out and uh, represented, did a really nice job. Um, he did not get any bonus points, but uh, wound up with the, the top finish nonetheless. One point more than Logan got away, uh, because Logan actually got the pole position and the fastest lap in the race to get those two bonus points, taking his 32 to a 34 um, and uh, Brett Holmes rounded out the podium with uh, Randall and Voker filling out the top five in tonight's race. Uh, in sport, man, that was a race. I, I really thought that I was uh, done for when Jake uh, outqualified me. Um, Jake did a great, uh, great job uh, putting it on, on pole position um, with, a, with a really, really good lap. Um, and then I thought I was even worse off when. Enrico managed to get around me when I was navigating some traffic early in uh, uh, the going there of the race, and so was following along. Then, of course, uh, uh, good friend Rodney um, got involved a little bit there. So I was all like, "Okay, I, I'm going to hang with these guys, but I'm probably not going to have the speed to take them." So I was I was content to ride along and see what happened. And um, there was a little bit of a mishap um, between Enrico and Jake and. Jake went off, came back, and lost control and hit Rodney. Um, so that cleared the deck, except Enrico kept going on. So he maintained the lead for a good long portion of time, and, and I wasn't uh, sure I was going to catch him. Um, when Brett passed me, uh, I figured that uh, um, I was going to have my best chances writing that draft up to Enrico. And, and it worked pretty well. The three of us were really close on the pit strategy. I took a gamble, tried to do an undercut, and um, wound up coming back out in challenge traffic and uh, just did not get the lap I needed to and actually fell back and getting ahead of the two guys that I was trying to pass that strategy. So uh, after that, I was, you know, okay, seconds probably do, and uh, got managed to, to pick back up onto Enrico's bumper and. Uh, Got really lucky on the penultimate lap, and uh, he made a mistake and opened the door, and I walked right through. Didn't look back. I mean, the next lap was the final lap, and uh, that's all she wrote. I managed to get the win. So, um, great race by Enrico. He really held it together, held it on track, uh, and uh, did a did a great job tonight. Um, I'm I'm actually I'm really amazed that I managed to to claw back um, and get that. Um, that bonus point of the fastest lap. I felt really slow tonight, did not feel I had any speed, um, but somehow managed to uh, to creep away by uh, uh, seven and a half tenths, <laughs> something like that, um, to get that extra point, which takes my 35 to 36. Um, so that was a, a good night overall. Um, in challenge, uh, looks like they had a good race. Mark Lacombe um, managed to get the pole position, got the fastest lap, and of course win. So he hauls in another big 37 point haul. Um, Chris Sari had a good night, finished second. And Randy Lerwold, who was uh, the, the challenge traffic that I came back in, finished third in challenge. So great finish from him. He's one of the new guys 
um, that's just recently joined us and he's driving really well. Steve, um, great finish in fourth and Stacy in fifth. So um, overall, some some familiar names, some good uh, good finishes by folks and uh, overall great driving by everybody. Um, I was really impressed tonight um, when I did encounter traffic. Um, it was a uh, uh, really well-driven um, race by, by everybody that was being passed by faster traffic and by those that were passing slower traffic. So was really impressed with that. So what does all this mean? So um, Red Bull Ring is the fifth race in the series. Um, if we look here mathematically, I'm pretty certain if I've done my maths right, um, that Derwin has clinched first place in pro. Um, because I don't think that uh, even if uh, Derwin fails to show up for the last race, count that 32, I think that that is far enough ahead that even with a perfect run, Rick is not going to be able to catch him in the final race. Um, Shay and uh, Rick are really close. Um, so that's still grabs uh, second and third. Um, we'll see how that goes. Um, even Lyle and uh, JR are still within striking range um, if they both have great races and have some misfortune ahead of them. So um, it's an interesting battle here. Um, Rob Cottle's also, he's in the fight. I think anybody beyond Rob is probably out of the hunt for um, anything in the, uh, the the top two or three. But, uh, but it looks like it's going to be a really close race all the way down to the end, which is really exciting. In club... Um, I think that Logan's got a pretty secure lead, but I don't think it's insurmountable. I think that if he has a bad race and uh, someone else has a really good race, I think Brett is uh, really close. Volker's really close. Um, of course, both Logan and Brett do not have a throwaway, so the points from Indy will count what bad. Um, so they don't have anything in the bank there. So it'll be interesting to see how that shakes out. That, that's that's close enough that it's within the realm of possibility. Um, although um, I, I think Logan is fairly secure, um, but but really you know decent close racing all the way back to uh, um, I think Randall might be out of it, but uh, like I said, he he might be able to move up a position um, or two maybe if go his way. Um, Brian and Austin probably not in it because they the last two races and uh, um, don't don't see them actually finishing there, although they are still in top eight, so they will go to zone group championship. Um, looking down at uh, at sport. So sport, um, like Derwin, I think that I am mathematically secure uh, in the first position. Um, if you take into account my drop race, so saying I got a zero at Indy, um, or it was my lowest race. Um, I don't think that a perfect haul will allow Jake to catch me. Um, so um, that looks pretty good. So yay me, I guess. Uh, first place in sport. Um, Jake is um, really close to Joe Evers, close to Enrico. So these three have um, serious opportunity to have a good battle to, to round out that final um, final position uh, uh, or final two positions on podium for the sport sport series. Um, Jeff had a great race tonight and um, wound up getting a good points haul. So he's also, he's really in that fight. He's within some points there to um, move up into uh, maybe, maybe even as high as second um, if he has a really good stellar indie race. Um, Matt, um, a little further back, he's, he's still in it as well. David Kaufman, Getting a little bit further out of reach as we get down to David and and Jeff. Um, it looks like Jeff is going to be our waterline, so we'll see um, who um, who else can actually put some points on the board to to try to challenge that. But um, I think that that's probably fairly secure at this point. Um, looking at the challenge drivers, Mark clinched. Um, I, nobody can catch him at this point. Um, Chris is in second and Steve in third. They're very close, as is Stacy, very close to them, and Robert C. Palmer, very close to them. Beyond that, I don't think that there's a lot of opportunity for movement up, but maybe one or two positions. Um, but uh, we definitely um, haven't seen a couple of these guys in a few races uh, towards the end here, missed some, some stuff. So 
Um, we'll see. We'll see uh, if anybody can make some headway there. But uh, again, Mark Lacombe looks like he's clinched. Looks like Derwin's clinched, and uh, um, I clinched. So, um, congratulations to to Mark um, and to uh, Derwin, um, and we'll we'll see how club club fares in final race. That's going to be at Indy. That's going to be next Friday night, so it should be fun. But a whole bunch of us need to get some sleep fast because day four hours is tomorrow, and uh, many of us are going to be driving in that as well. So that should be a lot of fun. Um, as always, if you like this video, please give me a like and uh, let me know um, if you have any comments uh, on the quality of the content, questions, anything, um, please feel free. To, to chat me up uh, via the comments on the videos. Always glad to hear from people. Um, and if you aren't a subscriber and you've made it this far, subscribe. You'll get notified of the new videos as I launch them. I'm racing in several series, so there's a lot of really good action, a lot of fun, good fun, and um, occasionally some entertainment value to add as well. Thank you very much for joining us, and uh, good night. Take care. Spaß machen Rennsport.